We're joined now by Emily Atkinson, senior at Ursuline College, for our GMAC volleyball preseason interview. And first of all, Emily, uh, it's hard to believe, but it's almost time to get the season started, and thanks for spending some time with us. Yeah, no problem. So last season, you missed the majority of last season with an injury. Um, what were you able to learn from watching the game from the sideline rather than being on the floor last year? The biggest thing I learned is that watching the game is very different than playing the game. So I was able to hear things, see things, see different shots. Um, I learned how important communication with your team is, how important body language is on the court. And so I can take those things into this season. So now tomorrow morning you guys get started uh, your first preseason practice. You've got some newcomers coming in. What advice are you going to give them as you guys get started here getting ready for that first match in a couple of weeks on September 2nd? I would say just give it your all every every play in practice, every play in the scrimmages that we have. Um, it sounds cliche, but really if you, if you work hard and you really put your mind and heart and buy into everything that your coaches and teammates are telling you, then it... It becomes a habit for everyone on the team, and it it just brings good things. Now, you have a, a talented group of seniors, uh, of which you're included in. Uh, what impact do you want to see that class have, uh, not only on just the freshmen, but the rest of your teammates as well? Yeah, everybody wants to see their class have an impact. Um, I think the biggest thing for me and my classmates, we want to not only better ourselves, but better our teammates as volleyball players and people. So I think the biggest thing is just making the right decisions on and off the court, working hard in all aspects of life, um, like buying into relationships, buying into any work or jobs that you have. So um, just giving it your all in everything in life and just loving every minute of it. Now, the conference this year, it's one of the more competitive conferences from top to bottom. Uh, what are your goals as you head into GMAC play this year? Um, every team has their own specific goals. Obviously, everybody wants to be on top, but I think the most important thing for us is to focus on bringing in our new players. We have a we have a new young team um, returning with older players, and I think the biggest thing is mixing it together, finding our team chemistry, um, becoming one, and just taking it to everyone. I think it'll be exciting to see what we can do. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, and best of luck this season. Thank you. Joined now by second year head volleyball coach at Ursuline College, Jamie Plummer, for our GMAC volleyball season preview. And coach, first off, uh, thanks for taking the time to join us. And it's hard to believe we're getting started here next week. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, now, you just finished up your first season here at Ursuline. Uh, what, what is your takeaways from that first season um, and how you can have, use that first season going forward? Uh, well, the first year in, it's all about implementing your philosophy and trying to get the program in a direction you want it to go. Um, so I think that uh, we've installed that. I think that the uh, kids really understand my philosophy and what we're trying to do here. Uh, they know that we're working hard to be a successful program. And it does take time, um, but I'm an impatient coach and we're doing that as quickly as possible. We want to put wins together now, uh, not two, three, four years down the road. Uh, last year you lost uh, uh, one of your, your outside hitters in Emily Atkinson uh, in the first home match of the year. How big of a loss was that and what kind of impact was she able to have even when she wasn't playing? Uh, it was a big loss. Emily's a, a contributor for us offensively, but also as a leader. So losing her was tough. Um, you, you knew it as soon as she went down that the, it, it hit the kids hard on the court. Uh, they looked to her for um, moments in the game where they knew they needed someone to step up. They knew that they could rely on her. She was a first team all-conference kid the year before as a sophomore. So um, that, that was hard seeing that happen. But I thought the team bounced back very well from that. I didn't see a drop off in work ethic. Uh, the level of effort that they put in was high. Um, they continued to compete, um, which was which it allowed us to uh, further our systems to get more uh, work in. Um, they definitely didn't back down and they definitely didn't quit, which was a, a huge thing to see. It, it lends to the, the idea that they have bought in and they're excited moving forward. And along with her, uh, you have three other seniors that are, are going to be a big factor as far as leadership this year between Emily, uh, the other Emily, Sammy, and Michaela. Uh, what are you looking for them as far as senior leadership? Uh, just that the leadership of the team is very important. Um, that they're instilling the right um, characteristics and core values that, uh, that we want to have here at Ursuline in our program. Um, and so far this spring and throughout the summer, they've done a great job of we have five incoming players and getting them acclimated early, 
uh, getting to know them and letting them know what's expected of them so that when we come back, we're ready to go. Now you mentioned the five incoming players. Uh, this will be your first recruiting class uh, here in your second year. What kind of impact do you see them making as freshmen coming into the program? Uh, well, you always hope that they're going to make a big impact. Uh, they're definitely, uh, this class I feel, uh, is more talented as we get going. We're, we're getting better, and uh, that's always what you're trying to do. Uh, you're trying to improve the talent level of your team. Um, but they're also great kids of great character. So I'm excited to see them get out there. I'm not sure exactly what to expect, but um, I do anticipate that a couple will start, and if not four or all five of them contributing in some way this fall already, which is very exciting for a coach. Um, and it's exciting for a team. I know the upperclassmen are really looking forward to uh, getting the new uh, players in here and uh, being able to play with them. And now we add Malone to the conference this year. There's five other schools coming in uh, to the conference in 2017 and 2018. What's the direction of the conference as far as uh, where it's headed for volleyball and how exciting is that? Um, well, we are, we're obviously growing. Um, I think it's just a great... Uh, thing adding teams like this, we're adding high caliber teams. Uh, that always raises the bar in your conference, which is a good thing. Uh, you always want to be chasing those people who are out in first. And when you got teams that are breaking into the top 25 and they're they're at that level, um, it's it's really exciting for you as a coach to say uh, we got to go out and we got to do this. And so um, I've tried to have that philosophy going into recruiting that if we're going to keep up, we need to really be aggressive. Um, on that front and we have to be very aggressive in the gym and how we train and what is expected of us. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. And you get out onto the floor on Monday for the first practice. Uh, what are your expectations this preseason as you get ready for September 2nd? Uh, my expectation uh, and the team's expectation is that we are going to work hard. We're going to work harder than we've worked before. Uh, we're going to give everything we have to get better. We're going to be students of the game. Uh, so I know that I'll be raising their bar from an IQ standpoint. Um, from a physical standpoint, you will notice a difference in our play this year. All right, Coach, thank you very much for the time, and best of luck this season.